how to configure dynamic route in three routers environment using RIP routing in Cisco devices. Here I already created a, sim a sample routing environment with three routers, router 0, router 1 and router 2. What we need to do is to configure router 0, router 1 and router 2 with dynamic routing protocol RIP in the router respectively. We have five networks. Network 1, Network 2, Network 3, Network 4, and Network 5. IP address are assigned and network ID shown in the figure show the distribution of the IP address. For the routers, we have already assigned IP address to a particular interface. Here you can see the IP address and for this interface. And make sure the interface Port status is on. The next step will be assigning the network IP address in RIP. Click on router 0 RIP. Before we add the network IP address, look at this diagram. Router 0 is connecting with a switch in network 1 and router 1 in network 4. So we are going to add both of this network which is directly connecting with the router 0. Next will be router 1. With the same steps, see we can see router 1 is connecting to network 2 switch, router 2 in with network 5, and router 0 with network 4. So we are going to add 3 of them. Do the same thing to router 2. Router 2 is connecting to router 1 with network 5 and, and the switch in network 3. Now we will check the connection by pinging those PC in network 1 to PCs in another network. Click on PC1, Command Prompt, here we can see the IP address for PC1 is 192.168.1.1 and the default gateway is 192.168.1.254 Now, we ping PC1 to a PC in network 2 Press enter The first request mostly will be timed out and here you see the response. Now we are trying to ping the third network. Press enter. Same thing happened here and finally all PCs are able to ping each other. Why a dynamic routing do not need to add all the network address and just adding those connecting to it is because if the 
network address is not listed in the router itself, it will learn or get the information from other routers which is connecting with it. I hope this may help you guys on understanding how a dynamic routing works and thanks for watching this video.